welcome a very popular question that I'm asked towards the end of a pregnancy is has my baby dropped or is my baby's head engaged the reason I get this question is because the patient is keen to know is she likely to go into labor soon in this video clip I'm going to be talking about engagement of the baby's head what it means when it's likely to occur and what are the implications if the baby's head is engaged and what the implications if the baby's head has not engaged in those last weeks of pregnancy. Firstly, what is engagement? Well, we define engagement as when the widest diameter of the baby's head, the biparietal diameter, has passed through the brim of the pelvis. When does it occur? Well, it can occur at any gestation in the last trimester, but it's of not of any clinical significance until those last weeks, say 36 weeks on, when the size of the baby's head approaches what it's going to be uh, when a woman is in labor. Now, it can occur early and remain engaged. It can be engaged for quite a number of weeks before the onset um, of labor. It can go into the pelvis, be engaged one week and not be engaged the next week. And this can happen even at 40 weeks gestation, where at 39 weeks the head was engaged, but the following week it's quite high. We assess engagement abdominally by feeling how much of the head we can feel. If I can feel only a minority of the head, that means the majority of the baby's head has entered the pelvis and so the baby's head has engaged. We talk about the concept of fifths. So if I can feel five fifths of the head abdominally, that means I can feel all the head abdominally and so the head is not in the pelvis. If I can feel four fifths of the head abdominally, that means one fifth is in the pelvis. Three fifths of the head abdominally means that two fifths are in the pelvis and so the head's almost engaged. If I can only feel two fifths of the baby's head abdominally, that means that three fifths of the head are in the pelvis and so the baby's head has engaged. If I can feel one fifth of the head, that means that four fifths are in the pelvis and so the baby's head is quite deeply engaged in the pelvis. A woman usually knows that her baby's head has engaged because she feels very uncomfortable in the pelvis. Uh, the description is given of, it feels like I've got a watermelon or a bowling ball uh, between my legs. Uh, because of the pressure on the bladder, she needs to pass urine more frequently. Abdominally, we also check for engagement by checking the fundus, the top of the uterus. And uh, there now is a gap between the top of the uterus and the lower aspect of the chest which wasn't there at the previous antenatal visit. Uh, a woman will be aware of this because she now can breathe more easily, take deeper breaths, she has less indigestion, uh, she can eat uh, larger meals. Uh, the term lightening is used because it's lightening in the top um, of the abdomen. Uh, it's a very apt description uh, for engagement of the baby's head. So why is a baby's head not necessarily engaged at the end of the pregnancy? Well, uh, if you've had a baby before, it could simply reflect that. The uterus doesn't grip the baby as tightly, your abdominal walls are a bit looser, the baby has more room, and so there's no need for the baby's head to engage until you actually go into labor. This is of no concern whatsoever, and indeed is the norm. Most ladies who've had a previous baby find that the baby's head is not engaged until they actually go uh, into labor. There are other reasons. The baby could be in an occipital posterior position. So it's uh, turned so its back is towards your back and the head is more deflexed. There's a larger diameter presenting and so it's more difficult for baby's head to engage. You could have a large baby uh, with a large head or simply the ba your baby has a, has a large head and so it's more difficult for the head to engage. There could be extra fluid around the baby, a condition called hydramnius. 
uh, if that is the case, there's no reason for the head to enter the pelvis uh, until uh, your membranes, membranes go. Uh, if you've got a relatively small pelvis, a contracted pelvis, um, or the pelvic brim is an abnormal shape, so it's more difficult for the baby's head to negotiate the pelvis. If you've got an obstruction, uh, such as a placenta previa, or there could be a tumour, a, a fibroid obstructing the birth canal, or some other mass outside the uterus, then it would be much more difficult for that baby's head uh, to enter the pelvis. It could be a combination um, of the above. If your baby has dropped, then it's a good sign that you will go into labour sooner rather than later. Patients ask me when, and the answer is I have no idea, because baby's head can be engaged uh, weeks before the onset um, of labour. But it's certainly a good sign that the labour should go well. It implies the baby's in an occipito anterior uh, position. When the baby uh, is engaged, the head sits well against the cervix and helps stimulate the cervix to ripen. What we mean by that is that the cervix will dilate, shorten and soften, and hence it's a good start for the onset of labour. If the baby's head is not engaged and you are due, then it could simply reflect the fact that you've had a baby before and that the uterus is not gripping the baby as tightly and that the head won't engage to you actually go into labour. But you're more likely to go into labour uh, later rather than sooner because the head is not stimulating uh, the cervix. But there can be other reasons and in some of these cases it would be safer to have a caesarean section delivery. It can be a combination of reasons. Uh, the other day um, I had a woman in her second pregnancy where the baby was not engaged. She had gone beyond 40 weeks and the baby was in an occipito posterior position. Um, she, I induced labour when she was almost 41 weeks gestation. Um, all went well with careful management. Uh, there was internal rotation of the baby. So she delivered the baby in the direct occipito anterior position and she had an intact perineum. I often get asked, can I go into labour if my baby has not yet dropped? And the answer obviously is yes. Another example of this is a multiple patient about who I did an article. Uh, she arrived at hospital in labour, indeed fully dilated, but the baby's head was at the brim of the pelvis her membranes were intact. It was 12.30 a.m. in the morning. The midwife phoned me and I attended um, immediately. I did a careful internal examination trying to determine if there was a malpresentation um, of the baby, um, but this was uh, not the case. The head was in an occipito posterior position. Uh, during this examination, the membranes uh, ruptured. Uh, over the next three contractions, she pushed quite effectively. The baby's head descended uh, through the pelvis, rotated internally to a direct occipito anterior position. She had a normal vaginal delivery uh, with an intact perineum. All went well. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.